Good morning, student. In the last class, we have studied about the differences between globe and a map. So today, we will talk about the types of map. So we have there are many types of map. Okay, each shows special information. Okay, girls, we have the variety of map, and each map has some special information. And these variety enable a quick and easy access to specific information. That we use is in requires. So it can be divided into small scale map or large scale map. So first of all we will talk about the small scale map. So small scale map represent large area in less detail. Okay. We it generally represent a large area but it have a very less or small detail. And they reduce the size of the places proportionately to so they can show a bigger area okay just say for example if we are talking about the map of a continent and the country are small scale map suppose if you have to show suppose one particular continent okay so we can show it on a simple small uh, area and just we can country give the descriptions now we are talking about the Large scale map. So this feature is your suppose you have the large scale map. So the large scale map represents small area with comparatively more details. Means it generally occur by a small area. But we have more formations compared compared to the small scale map. And the area that is being depicted by such map has been scaled down less. For example, if we are talking about the topographical map, they show a different landscape feature of an area. Now, we have some more, uh, some more maps like your political map, physical map and thematic map. Okay? So, so, first we are talking about the political map. This political map actually show state capital. This is your so political map we have the state boundary here these all are your state boundary and it actually show the state capital major cities and town national boundary etc so we will you have to draw the diagram of map in the uh, in this homework and we will talk later in the next class thank you